All right, curls. If you have a straight bar, I'd rather you do straight bar than do uh, dumbbells, but I want elbows locked into the sides. I don't want a swinging body. If you have to brace yourself against the wall in order to prevent yourself from swinging, that's fine. But that's the curl that I'm looking for. Um, if you're watching the person do the curls, don't want to see a big arch in the back. Curve those hips under, flex your abs so you've got a flat back. Uh, if you don't have a bar, I keep talking about this bungee. If you don't have one, get one. These curls are just fine, just fine. You might need to do more than eight though. Bench press. Bench press is easy. I don't really care if you go all the way down to your chest, but if it's a light weight, go ahead and get that range of motion. It's good for your rotator cuff. If you're pushing your weight so it's tough for you, all I'm looking for is 90 degrees at the elbow. So when you go down, I'm flat right there. That's all I need and back up. You can go off your chest if you want, but that's all I want to see. If you can't handle bench press, then, oh, you don't have one available, do the same thing with push-ups. Bam. All the way down, though, to the ground. If you get down to the ground and you can't come back up, drop your hips, snake up. Go down, chest first, drop your hips, snake up. All right, so you have to do a deadlift today, and I want your deadlift to be, if you've got a bar, get your toes under the bar, butt down, shoulders out. I should be able to read the words across your chest. Butt downs the whole time. That bar goes right up your leg and comes up. Your butt doesn't rise before, your, before the weight comes off the ground. My chest and shoulders stay put. And that's version one. If you don't have a weight to use, if you don't have a weight to use, we've been using these already, use them again. Put them up by your shoulders, just a typical squat. That's all I want from you. Okay, that's it. That's your deadlift version.